Hello everyone, Melanie here with CGL Recruiting. Today's video is gonna be on a very serious topic and that is discrimination in the hiring process. So I wanna talk with you about your rights as a job seeker throughout the hiring process. And I also wanna talk with you about what you do to report when something goes wrong. Now we did recently come out with a video on age discrimination in the workplace. And there was one individual that commented back to me and said, well, I thought for this video, we were gonna be focusing on strategies to work around this. And what I wanna say for the video today, and this does apply to that one as well, is this is not going to be a video of telling you how to work around when people are discriminating. This is gonna be a video telling you what your rights are, that you should not be discriminated against legally for all of these following reasons and what you do to report it. Having us do videos of how to work around a broken system is not the answer. The answer is to change the system. Discrimination is never ever going to be okay. So I do not feel comfortable trying to put together a video of strategies to get around it, I want you to face it head on. And if you see discrimination occurring to you or someone else in the hiring process, I want you to call the company on it. I want you to report it. The only way that we're gonna have meaningful, lasting change is to make sure that we are addressing these issues head on. So let's talk about discrimination in the workplace. So specifically what we're gonna be focused on today is Title VII, which is the US federal law that is part of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This is considered to be one of the landmark pieces of federal law to help protect you as not only an employee, but as an applicant in the hiring process against discrimination. Now, what exactly is covered under Title VII? Well, we're specifically today going to be focusing on race, color, national origin, sex, and religion. Now, there have been amendments to Title VII and other laws, which we will cover on other videos. For example, we do have one already out there on age discrimination that you may want to take a look at. But these are the areas that we're going to be focused in on today. Now, it's important that you know that for all of these, who enforces this law federally? That would be the EEOC or the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. And they, were, they are responsible for enforcing all of the federal laws that make it illegal to discriminate against a job applicant. So not just Title VII, but others as well, which hopefully we will also, like I said, cover in future videos. So what I wanna to do today is break down the different sections that we're going to be covering and talk about what are you protected against? Now, I should say it is important to note that for the EEOC, um, when you go to their website, you're going to see that this federal law only applies to employers with 15 or more employees. Um, hopefully that will change in the future, but at the moment it does only apply to 15 or more employees for a company. So if they only have two or three, um, you don't have the same recourse to go to the EEOC. Okay, so let's begin our conversation by focusing on race and color. So the information that I'm gonna be showing you actually comes right from EEOC as the body that enforces this as to what is considered discrimination for an individual against Title VII. So for race and color, that means treating someone unfavorably because he or she is of a certain race or because of personal characteristics associated with that race, such as hair texture, skin color, or certain facial features. It also includes treating someone unfavorably because of their skin color. And the last is treating someone unfavorably because the person is married to or associated with a person of a certain race or color. Let's move on to national origin. National origin discrimination is when discrimination occurs because an individual is from a particular country or part of the world, when it's because of their ethnicity or accent, or because they appear to be of a certain ethnic background, even if they're not. 
discrimination against someone for national origin also may occur when someone is being treated unfavorably because they are married to or associated with a person of a certain national origin. The next one we're gonna move on to is sex discrimination. This is when they are treating someone unfavorably because of that person's sex. Discrimination against an individual because of gender identity, including transgender status or because of sexual orientation are also considered discrimination under Title VII. Moving on to religion, discrimination occurs when an individual is treated unfavorably because of his or her religious beliefs. Now the law also protects not only people who belong to traditional religious organizations such as Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, but also others who have sincerely held religious, ethical, or moral beliefs. And again, this discrimination also occurs when someone is treated differently because that person is married to or associated with an individual of a particular religion. So under all of these different areas of discrimination, what is not allowed is any type of unfair treatment, any slurs or remarks, any symbols that are offensive, any policies that have a negative impact to the covered group that are non-job related, and any job advertisements that show a preference for or discourage someone from applying from one of these covered areas. So for example, if someone does a job advertisement and states they are only looking for women or only looking for men, that may violate Title VII. Other things that are not allowed under Title VII include recruitment practices that result in discrimination. An example of this could be if you are only recruiting from a certain population and not having a diverse candidate pool, you may be violating Title VII. So what should you do if you feel you are experiencing discrimination in one of these areas as an applicant to a company? Absolutely, totally, you should report it. Now I've had people ask me for strategies to work around discrimination, and that is not the answer. The answer is for people to be held accountable and for you to report discrimination if you feel like it is occurring. So how do you report it? By going to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Now there is a separate process that they do have for private versus federal employers, and there are time limits. So you do need to make sure that you are reporting it as soon as it occurs. There are multiple ways to report a situation of discrimination to the EEOC. You can go through their public portal at www.eeoc.gov to report it there. You can call in to their main line at 1-800-669-4000, or you can even go in person to an EEOC office. Now, when you contact the EEOC, they will listen to the information that you have and will help to see if they believe it is covered by Title VII. If they believe that it is, that will launch an investigation into what has occurred. Now, some people will say that, oh, they don't see that many cases on this anymore, and I beg to differ. If you would like to look at some of the cases, here is one of the EEOC websites. In this one, it covers significant race color cases for both private and federal sector employees. It will take you through some of the recent cases and investigations that have occurred, and what are some of the outcomes of those investigations. I hope this information on this video was helpful to you and that you do know that you do have rights during this hiring process. I know it can feel like the company is in charge and they get to decide if I get this role or I don't. Most companies are going to do the right thing, but if you do come across one where you're getting discriminated against, it is not okay. And the only way that we change the world that we live in is by holding others accountable. 
Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.